What is up everybody, AJ here back with another video. So I'll be checking out Keeping Up with Star Wheel, Jing Liu, Great Teachers, We Get Great Pupils video. Now, um, I will say this, I will definitely tr try to pull for Jing Liu once um, 1.4 has been fully updated on Hawkeye Star Wheel. So hopefully um, this video will, gi will give us the idea on um, how Jing Liu's gameplay is. And uh, probably a better than understanding how um, we get to play um, Jing Yu. So um, let's not waste any more time and check out this um, new Keeping Up with Star Real video. Let's jump right into it. For the people of the Xian Show, the High Cloud Quintet not only represents five unparalleled heroes, mm. but also a prosperous golden age. Time passes, heroes fall, and asteroids pass to the edge of the galaxy, never to return. Just like that era of heroism. But as the ancient poem goes, a waning moon will still go on to wax. A broken sword can still be brought to fore. In the turbulence of time, no matter how the sun, moon, or stars may wander, there will always be heroes. For the mm -hmm. past she wishes to keep is beset by the sword forever. Today, we're introducing a legendary figure, the former sword champion of the Law Fu, Jing Liu. Albert, your eloquence is truly oh. superb. I should invite Jing you to the exalting uh, sanctum someday to teach the storytellers a lesson. Me? <laughs> you too kind, General. But who wrote that line, Heroes Fallen? I mean, didn't anyone know to check who we had on the show today? <clears throat> Production, take note. More facts and less poetry from now on. Jing is great. Jing Liu is an ice-type character following the path of destruction. Mm. They call her the Transcendent Flash. Hold and up. it is said that her sword is quick enough to cut through time itself. Grandmaster moves so fast. Wait. I've only Was that a Virgil reference? I've never forgotten it. <laughs> Was that These a Virgil uh, uh, from Devil May Cry reference? Welcome. When Yan Jing heard that we were discussing swordplay, he insisted on joining us. I couldn't hold back his eagerness to learn. Please oh, forgive look. us if this interrupts the We have a punching bag right over here. <laughs> Two guests for the price of one? <laughs> that works for me. Jing Liu's and basic attack, Lucid Moon Glow, can deal ice damage to a single target. I've seen that move before. That faint glimmer, like holding a beam of moonlight in your palm. Deadly, but beautiful. Consume right. a skill point to use her skill, Transcendent Flash, right. which deals ice damage to a single target enemy and accumulates stacks of Syzygy. Sissy. When using her ultimate, the battlefield is bathed in icy moonlight. Jing Liu deals ice damage to a single target and adjacent enemies, while right. also receiving a set number of Sissiji stacks. When Sissiji reaches a certain limit, Jing Liu enters a spectral transmigration state. Right. Sissiji stacks to a set limit. General, what That's the three of Bankai. I don't get it. Using a sword That's is like the water. First, the water pools, <clears throat> then you open the floodgates. It seems like a simple swing of a sword, but it contains layers and layers of power. After Jing Liu enters this new state, her action is advanced forward and her crit rate increases. Her skills okay. enhance to moon on Glacial River. All right. During this time, Jing Liu can only use her enhanced skill and ultimate, and cannot use her basic attack or skill transcendent flesh. Okay. Moon on Glacial River can deal ice damage to a single target and adjacent enemies based on Jing Liu's attack. Okay. When Jing Liu launches an attack in the Spectral Transmigration state, her attack increases based on the total of a set percentage of HP deducted from her teammates. What? This increase has an upper limit and lasts until okay. the end of the current attack. Okay. If I want to fight alongside Grandmaster, I need to get stronger. HP deducted in this way can only be reduced to one, and teammates will not be down as a result. Using Good. Moon on Glacier River consumes one stack of Syzygy. It does not consume skill points. Okay. When Syzygy reaches zero stacks, Jing Li will exit Spectral Transmigration. Oh, what happens okay. after that? Swordplay is like music, ever <clears throat> developing forward, finding a way to express itself. And a master swordplay is a masterpiece. After exiting Spectral Transmigration, Jing Liu begins accumulating stacks once again. This cycle repeats unceasingly, much to the dismay of her enemies. I see. Okay. Just like the phases of the moon on Grandmaster's uniform. A never-ending cycle. 
Aside from using her skill, Transcendent Flash, as well as her ultimate to gain Sisuji stacks, mm -hmm. Jing Liu can use her technique, Shine, Shine of Truth, Truth, before entering certain battles to get the same result. She also immediately regenerates a certain amount of energy in this way. After using this technique, Jing Liu creates a field for a set duration and within a set range of herself, freezing all enemies within its range. Can't Damn. believe I get to sneak peek all this! Oh, so much to learn! Hmm, looks like That's these disciples of Sanctus Medicus right. want to take advantage of their numbers to launch an attack on Jing Liu. She first uses her skill to accumulate Sisuji. At this okay. point, Yusenna still has the chance to attack. Jing Liu uses her skill again and immediately gains enough Sisuji stacks to enter Spectral Transmigration. Wait, Bun? This Kai. allows her to take action before her enemies. Before they can react, Jing Liu uses Moon on Glacial River, sending them straight to the depths of despair. Okay. And if they think they're getting a Very bather anytime soon, whoo, they're sorely mistaken. The last thing they see is Jing Liu's ultimate Floor Ephemeral Dream Flux. In the blink of an eye, her icy blizzard of a blade shatters time and space amid the hail of Incoming. Gets got ten Finally, falls silent. Whoa! Can we rewind that bit? Maybe ask your grandmaster for a demonstration. Kids of all the fun. <sighs> oh, to be able to swap tips with such a legend of sword play. Oh, if you wish to learn too, Albert, I can let master know. <laughs> and yet he's sweating at the same time. The ice first. Yep. <clears throat> that was good. It was a good video, I will say that. Alright, before I wrap this up, let's check out another video which is Aim to be an Ethereum Wars Champion, which was um, released 2 hours ago. Time to see if it was skill or just pure luck. Okay, looks like we have a oh glimpse of um Topaz. Way nicer. Show me what you're Luca. Just give up already. Silver Wolf? You've got no chance. Okay, interesting. The grand final is about to commence. Contestants, please take your place. Let's get going to the interastral tournament. Oh, it starts um today. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below on what are your thoughts on Jing Liu, her trailer, and will you be pulling for her or you're saving up for future characters such as likes of Topaz, Huo Huo, or Argenti. Also, don't forget to check out um, Emily on YouTube, Twitch, and other social media. Anyway, this is the part where I end my video. My name is AJ, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.